Hello everybody, welcome to a World of Warship Blitz video and in this video we shall be looking at the Tier 3 British battleship. This is the Tech Tree battleship. Um, it has arrived in the Blitz Pass and so let's go and have a look at it. Now I will compare it with the, this is a stats review and I will compare it with the Dreadnought which um, anybody, if anybody's bought anything out of the shop, that first purchase reward is the Dreadnought. Um, and the Bellerithon is the ship that is based on the Dreadnought, or the Dreadnought class. There you go, it says Bellerithon class, puts me all wrong. So what we'll do is do a stats-by-stats -stats comparison with it, um, and what I'm going to do is just make sure that my we're doing like-for-like, like. so I've elited the um, Dreadnought, and I have also elited the Bellerithon here. Um, so, from a survivability point of view, this has 25,288 hit points. Slightly more hit points than the, uh, the Dreadnought, which at 24,634, is shy about 500 hit points, 5 to 600. Um, just be aware that I'm comparing like for like, so as soon as you put the historical camo on the Dreadnought, it pulls slightly ahead. Um, the Bellerathon doesn't come with historical camo, although you could use something like the Roar of Steel to probably bring this ahead of the Dreadnought again. But it's um, but base um, builds, it's slightly ahead of the Dreadnought. Just be aware that Dreadnought often comes with, well, I think by default comes with the historical camo. Citadel protection, fire and flooding resistance, damage reduction and torpedo damage reduction are all identical to the Dreadnought. Maneuverability stats there. Uh, let's go find those maneuverability stats. 21.67 knots is slightly faster than the 21.12 knots of the Dreadnought. Um, time to full speed, 21.59 seconds, the Dreadnought's 21.28. So there's a slight edge in speeds to the Bellerithon, but it takes slightly longer to get there. Uh, traverse speed and turn time is pretty close. So traverse speed is 5.5 degrees per second versus 5.9 for the Dreadnought. And the turn time is... 10.36 versus 10.09 for the Dreadnought, so slight edge to the Dreadnought as far as agility is concerned, but slight edge to the Bellerithon as far as speed is concerned. So the guns are very similar. Um, the reload time, 20.37 seconds, is exactly the same. The same number of guns in the same configuration with the same calibre. The range on the Bellerithon is 10.35 kilometres versus 10.16. So the Bellerithon is about 0.19 kilometres shy of the, um, the direct Dreadnought is 0.19 shy of the Bellerithon, which is really not much to write home about. Of course, if you slap the historical camo again, the Dreadnought range goes out and exceeds 10.35. Main battery HE damage, the Treadnought is ahead by 10 points, so the main battery damage on the Bellerithon is 927. 937 is the Dreadnought, which is a slight improvement, chance of setting fire 10% on both. AP, the AP on the Bellerithon is superior to the Dreadnought uh, at 1155 versus 1090, so this is 65 extra damage on the AP per land shell that lands and penetrates. Turret traverse speed and citadel damage rate are identical. Secondary guns, this is probably where the most significant difference is. There's another significant, well, actually I don't know, I wouldn't call it significant. Anyway, these have a reload of seven seconds versus the Dreadnought's reload of six seconds. That is where the Dreadnought has its edge, faster reloading guns, now those are the Dreadnought guns are very short range at 3.87, whereas the Bellerithon range at 4.52 is much longer, even though it takes a second extra for it to reload. You do notice that you have extra legs on your secondaries. The secondaries also do more damage, because um, they're 76 millimeter secondaries on the Dreadnought, they're 102 millimeter on the Bellerithon. Um, so the secondary battery 
HE damage is 218 for the Blairathon versus 174 for the Dreadnought. Um, I mean, it's something to do in the Dreadnought while um, you're waiting for the main battery to reload, whereas it does a little bit more damage on the Blairathon. Double the chance of setting a fire on the Blairathon at 2% over 1% for the Dreadnought. Same Citadel damage rate and same turret traverse speed, but basically you get longer range, greater fire chance and more damage for a slightly, ever so slightly slower reload. The next significant difference is on the a large caliber AA. On the Blairathon it's 32 for a 3 kilometer range. On the Dreadnought it is nil. So there is no AA on the Dreadnought. And the surface detection is comparable. 9.72 kilometers for the Blairathon versus 9.78 for the Dreadnought. Um, now in saying that, um, detection range on battleship is usually moot because basically as soon as you open fire it's all over. Armoury, what does it get in the way of um, elite bonuses? Well they're exactly the same as the Dreadnought. You get a main a torpedo damage reduction of plus 7% should you want it. Um, but the main battery reload time of minus 3% and main battery traverse speed of plus 7% is what I went for. Um, f on both ships um, and really that's all there is to say about the Bellerathon so um, the only other um, thing to note is that I have played a couple of games in the Bellerathon and it it feels very much like the Dreadnought um, it feels very familiar so the gun layout is the same the turrets traverse very slowly um, you don't have super firing rear turrets. Um, yeah, it its guns don't have bad dispersion. Sometimes they can be a bit trollish, where it, it you sort of get uh, turrets that seem to fire in different directions, even if you fire at the same ship. But um, nothing you don't see on the dreadnought. So it's a very familiar and comfortable ship to play if you play the dreadnought. Um, the Dreadnought, obviously, with its historical camo, has a slight edge, but it is tier 3. Um, the secondaries on this, of course, are quite a significant improvement. But if you have the Dreadnought and you play the Dreadnought, you should feel pretty much at home in this ship. And it bodes well for the line, because um, if we have a look at other ships in the PC line, and I understand that the Queen Elizabeth is the tier 6, the tier 6 is the War Spite, which is the premium, so the tier 3 has a pretty comparable tech tree to premium. If the tier 6 holds, then it will be very similar to the War Spite, maybe not quite the same power of guns and maybe slightly better AA, if the PC template is anything to go by. So that's pretty good news, well at least at tier 6. At tier 7 you get um, a random mix, I'm not sure that anything's quite like the hood. Um, nothing's like the Nelson of course um, and the Duke of York was a bit uninspiring but I don't think um, I'm hoping that the tier 7 battleship is not a based on the Duke of York or if it does at least it has better firepower so there we go review of the Bellerathon with its stats um, and yes well I have a battle in it, I'll do a recording for that battle so that you can get my impressions of the battle as it progresses. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that and we'll catch you next time.